That's infinity loading screen in Discord is the pits. Don't worry, you are not alone. Many users encountered this issue from time to time. But fear not, Palo Cheddar works. Here are some simple steps you can take to get back to your online hangout in no time. What you can do here, first of all, we will close it properly. Not from here, it's better going to the task manager. Right click on the Discord and task. That's it. Now the first thing may be, um, it's a DNS glitch. What we are going to do here, click on the Windows icon, then type here CMD. Right click on it, run as administrator, yes. Now the first command, ipconfig slash release, hit enter. Your internet will be disconnected. Now the second command, ipconfig slash renew. Your internet will be back. Now the third command, ipconfig slash flush DNS, hit enter your DNS has been flushed. Now, once again, ipconfig slash register DNS, hit enter. Now simply type exit and hit enter. Now again, click on the Windows icon, search for Discord and launch it. Let's see. All right, still it's not working. Now, step number two, check for updates. Outdated software can sometimes cause glitches. Windows itself is fully updated. For Windows, you can do here, um, Windows icon, settings, updates and security, and then here you can search for, check for updates, right? Currently, I have the latest version. Maybe there's a few uh, security patches, but it's almost updated. I'm not gonna do further. Now once again, I'm gonna close my Discord from here. And this time, step number three. Now probably uh, in the step number two, you cannot update your Discord because it's not launching, but don't worry. Let's move on to step number three. Clear cache and app data. Corrupted data can throw a wrench into things. Here's how to clear it for both Windows and Mac. First, for Windows, click on the Windows icon. Or you can type here, Windows plus R key. Hold Windows plus R key to open the run dialog box. Now you need to type here the percentage, app data, again percentage. Weird. Okay. Once you are here, now here you need to find the Discord over here. Discord. Just right click on it, delete. That's it. And close it. Now in the Mac, close Discord completely. Open Finder and navigate to the library. Hold Option key while clicking Go in the menu bar. Then go to the application support and delete the Discord folder. Restart your computer and launch Discord. Now, in my case, I'm going to restart my PC. First, just pausing here my recording. All right, I'm back. Now, just launching here Discord once again. Click on the Windows icon, search for Discord and launch it. Now, checking for updates, starting. Just wait a while. All right, it's now working, I guess. Once again, we are closing it from here. This time, uh, run Discord as administrator. So what you have, search him for Discord, right click on this and run as administrator. In rare cases, permissions issue might be the corporate. Right click the Discord shortcut and then just simply um, find the run as administrator option and then run it. All right, still it's not working. Now one more step we can do here. Close it, open the warp, Cloudflare warp. First, you can just uh, reinstall your network adopters. That will resolve your issue or you can use the other adopters like uh, you can use the Cloudflare Warp tool. Alright. And uh, after connecting the Cloudflare Warp tool, the second option I'm using here. Because it's free, so I'm recommending this one. Otherwise, you can use any alternative VPN option. Now, this time, I'm launching my Discord once again.
okay still it's not working now the next thing is we can do here uh firewall settings uh, let's troubleshoot the firewall settings open the windows security and then firewall and network protection once you are here you need to go into the allow app through the firewall and then change settings now firehead discord if it's available okay there's no discord allow another application click on browse now you need to find here the uh, Discord application. By default, you can find it uh, like uh, going into the C drive, then the users, and then user that currently you are using. Okay, all right. My Discord is working right now. You can see by using the VPN, it's working. And now you can close it. Let me log in. And it's done by using the VPN you can uh, simply start your discord but the reason is uh, let me explain a bit more about reason then I will further explain this uh, whole scenario about uh, firewall so the reason was uh, it's a network uh, adopter glitches to fix that issue you need to go into the device manager and then you will find here the network adopters right now here is the Realtek PCI GBE family controller, the current one. Right click on it, go into the properties and then drivers and then update drivers. Browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Now basically here we are and we can reinstall the uh, adopters. So it will fix the issues if there's any bugs or glitches in your adopter. Click on next to install it. Once you have done this, Simply you can check out here the date, the driver date 11-11-2021 and that's it. After installing the controller, your problem should be fixed 100%. You can just use anything. Now, let's move on the basic topic firewall. How you can allow applications uh, through firewall. Simply click on allow, click on browse and then uh, C drive, users, the user that currently you are using. And if you don't know, you can just go here and you can check out the username over here. Uh, I'm using email, so it's a short email, the beginning. Uh, once you open this, now here's the app data folder which is hidden. Okay, now the thing is, uh, the app data folder is hidden. So what you can do here, vertical slash app data hit enter. And then local and fire here the discord. Over here, open it. And here's, you have are uh, two versions right now recently i just updated my discord and now we have two versions just leave the latest date and uh, delete the older one this one is 5 to 2024 and this one is 5 6 2024 so we will delete the older one and then add your discord over here like this now allow in both private and public dns settings sorry network settings and then click on ok the same thing you can do here into the advanced settings a firewall now go into the inbound rules find your discord it's already by default added when you install the discord but sometimes if it's not available you can just simply click on the new role program click on next find your program over here as i said c drive users the user that you are using and then vertical slash app data then go into the local, find your Discord, first add the update and launch it. So allow the connection, uh, check these three rules, domain, private and public and then click on next. Type here Discord and uh, Discord update just for reminder and finish it. The same thing you need to do with the second one in the outbound. Same program. Next, allow connection, check these three rules, next, discord, discord, update, finish. Now one more thing we need to add here, because it's not only the updater, but uh, the up discord application as well. So program, browse, and then app, here is your discord, add it, allow the connection, next, check these three rules, next, 
discord app discord app okay description is not important i'm just uh, including for reminding is not important now it's the same thing in the outbound browse discord next allow the connection next check these three rules next discord app discord app again description is not important and then finish it that's it that's how you can solve your discord if it's not working properly um right now my discord is working fine you can see here and if you have any question please join the discord server you can just contact me on the discord uh, server or just direct you can dm me i will provide the discord id in the description see you in the next video have a good day Bye bye